Lords of the Fallen, like many dark fantasy action RPGs before it, limits you to only a handful of healing items between rest. Called Sanguinarix, the game starts you out with only three. But fear not, you can increase the amount of charges and the item's effectiveness through hidden items called Saintly Quintessences. This is only possible after defeating the first major boss, Pieta, she of Blessed Renewal. Once you overcome her, you'll be able to upgrade when speaking to her within Skyrest Bridge. As Lords of the Fallen features a sprawling, labyrinthine world to explore, you may be worried you've missed a quintessence or two. If that's the case, we've got you covered to make sure you find them all. You'll find this saintly quintessence not long after you found the first in this area. You'll have to defeat the rapturous Huntress of the Dusk first, though the Iron Wayfarer assists you in the right. After defeating her and making your way up through the church, you'll come outside to a balcony with several enemies below including a Mistress of the Hounds, two of her beasts, and a Scourge Sister. Take them out, including the Umbral Parasite protecting the Scourge Sister, before using your Umbral Lamp to pass through the gate at the back leading to a narrow bridge that ends in a turret. Shift to the Umbral Realm and quickly grab the Saintly Quintessence located on the turret before the Umbral Imps get you. Making matters worse, an Abyss will also spawn at the other end of the bridge. Take the cowardly route and run right by them like we did, or stand and fight at your own peril. If you followed our guides, bring the Quintessence to Pieta to upgrade your Sanguinarix to plus 9, which will give you an 8th charge and plus 100% HP recovery. We hope this video helped you track down a valuable Saintly Quintessence. Be sure to check our previous Saintly Quintessence video to make sure you didn't miss the one that came before. And if you want to ensure you don't miss the next one, make sure to subscribe to Prima Games for our continued coverage on Lords of the Fallen.